day where Chico he needs me to pull, 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 I will go beyond my limits to, to help him to win this stage because he helped me to win my stage. And I think that's the strength of this team that we can actually do this. Yes! This jersey was was my goal. Probably also because they know that I'm stupid enough to do a long sprint. Now, since since uh, I left the uh, Giro, I I went uh, home to Swiss and I was doing basically just training. Uh, it took a while before I got on top again. Uh, I thought a few days and I would be ready to start training, but. Uh, it took me a week before I was ready and then uh, after that it was just uh, training, training, training and then of course uh, Nationals uh, last week. Actually when they announced the, the tour, yeah, then you have like a global overview of what the tour will look like. And then in the beginning of the season we receive, receive more and more info about the stages. And then yeah, normally in April after the classics I start to look, yeah. Which stage is fit to? I'd like to prove myself both for the team and for myself on, on in the tour, but also know that I've been in good shape for a while. I still believe uh, I'm better now than I was in Swiss, but you never know. Uh, my, my last Grand Tour was the Giro, and uh, uh, I had a really tough time, so uh, it's also hard to set the high expectation, even though the shape is good. Uh, yeah, for, for Matthias to be here, it is, it's his first tour. He just won uh, Tour, uh, tour de Suisse and, and, and Nationals. He's in super, super shape and he's motivated. So it's nice to be here with him, uh, to support him and, and try to, to make his goals uh, coming through also. But I, I'm also here to, to go for myself and my own goals. So I think we have a good balance and, and we will find a good balance of, of helping each other. But it means a lot for me to to work with him and, and be in the same team as him <clears throat> in this tour, that's really nice. Having Mass with me for yeah, now my second Grand Tour, but my first tour is, is really nice. Uh, he's one of the guys that believe in me the most and uh, and he's always taking care of me both on and off the bike. And maybe especially off the bike is going to be important in this tour. And yeah, I think we can have a really good uh, collaboration together. Uh, I already promised him that I got to be there. 110% for him, for the Worlds, and uh, and yeah, even though I cannot help him so much because I need to focus on the GC uh, the days I can, and hopefully in Paris I can I can help him. Where is he? Where is he? Smoldering, look. Whoa. I looked at the stages for like uh, the breakaways, where either Mats, uh, Matthias, Jasper, uh, Chicone, uh, could have a crack to, to go for the win and uh, yeah it's not like the traditional mountain stages but more like the stages with a hard final or yeah with some more climbing work uh, in it. We will have an eye on, on the green jersey, uh, we will tackle it, look at it like we did in, uh, in, in the World Cup last year so we will have an eye on the points every day and then we will see how it go. Uh, stage one, we all saw the final. I think it's a quite nasty final, especially when they go fast on the second last climb. And I think we have to see uh, yeah, how the tempo is there and what the roles will be. Uh, yeah, then in the end, you know, there's UCI point for the first 25 every day. So even go until you're at the finish line. And that will be like this every day.
all the boys helped me perfectly. Uh, also Mass and, and Jasper, who was not supposed to help me. They took uh, their job uh, anyway, and uh, I'm really proud of that. And yeah, I didn't lose time. I was with uh, a six guy selected crew on top of the, the PK clan. And that I'm quite proud of for now. We turn to the left and a little bit after we have the feet zone and we start to climb up the tourmalet. No, 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 you are, yes. you are way before Yosu. Yeah. Everything clear for today? Yeah. Yeah? No, guys, uh, yesterday you did a good job. Continue like that today. It's alive. Oh, it's alive. Sorry for the extra work. No worries. Again. If that's it for the rest of the tour, it's fine for me. It's fine for me too. <laughs> to blame it on the crash and yeah I guess we will never know if, if it's only the crash or also just a breakdown but uh, I was battling a lot with uh, back pain today and uh, it had made me suffer a lot and uh, after Tomale I was alone and managed to close the gap to yeah, I guess we would call it the main peloton uh, just before the last climb but I guess with everyone having rest there and me going full gas to catch them uh, yeah, it was just uh, yeah, empty from the beginning, you have to climb. It's not too much to say. Uh, I spoke already with Jonas uh, in the neutral and he said he uh, should prepare myself for a really hard day. And uh, yeah, I would say uh, that he kept that promise. So um, Chapeau, I guess he's in the yellow now and uh, I guess the rest of us will have a really long time to Paris if uh, he's going to keep this pace. <laughs> Guys, we know that you all have the power to do this and I think it's, you know, yesterday we talked about we don't want to be too early uh, in the front, but I think it's better be in the front and manage it than never reach the front, because today this cannot happen, because then we throw away another chance, okay? I tried to come in, you know, when when you locked me up. Yeah. I tried to go in, but you know, of course, someone else is there. And then I know on a fucking day like this, yeah, it's not it's, our day. It's not our day. If I tried to stay long there, to it was perfect. Away. Because then I had some time to fight. Uh, and then, yeah, I just don't have it. You put like this. It's, 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 Here in the two, we saw that. Uh, if there's a lot of sprinters from top top level, uh, yeah, it's hard for Mets to beat them because they are simply faster. But as the big tours get longer and longer, uh, we're getting yeah more into the fatigue of the riders. He has better chances.
thanks for yesterday. Uh, in the end, I think, yeah, you guys wrote a, a good final there. And uh, we were uh, super unlucky uh, when Mats tried to go for the sprint. Van der Poel decided to swing off and ended his lead out. So, but that happens also in the sprint. I think it's going to be a hard fight in the finish because a lot of teams, they don't want to have a sprint because they will be beaten. And I think there are more teams interested in, in the breakaway. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Cavendish is pretty nice, shoot the Good job, Pachico. Good job, Pachuanta. Which is if that's the case. Here's the climb now. Kicks up a little bit downhill, then up towards of Christophe Laporte. Wow, Van Aert tucked in on the wheel. Matthew Van der Poel is there, but Philipson is looking set. Pedersen goes. Wow, Van Aert. Pedersen left hand side. Van der Poel with Philipson. Van der Poel. Matthew Van der Poel. Here goes Pedersen. Matt Pedersen is going for the finish line. Jasper Philipson looking to try and win his fourth stage of the tour. It's a drag race all the way to the finish of stage eight, and it's going to be a Win. <laughs> this year it was nice, it already came because there was a lot of pressure with the new sponsor on the jersey. You know, it was a big, big show from our side with, with new clothing, uh, everything new, uh, super nice bikes and everything. So we had to win. So it's nice to to get it early in uh, early in the race. <laughs> when I saw the states and especially when I saw the final, and already knowing that the riders we had with us for this tour, I knew we could you know got a lot of guys in the final if we start pulling late. Hey Matt, I just finished the recon of states eight, and the sprint for you is perfect. It's almost 800 meters, like straight line, always uphill, around 4%. Super nice, it's the States to Limoges. Also, the final is always like kickers, one kilometer, two kilometers. Uh, yeah, not steeper than 6%. It's a super nice, super nice day for you. Uh, but I was also not sure if it was going to come down to a, to a bounce sprint because it was a long stage and there was already some, yeah, probably some hard racing in Pyrenees. So we had a plan A, what was going in uh, the breakaway and win from the breakaway with Mats. And then we had a plan B is, yeah, if the sprinter teams wanted to control the race, that we should focus on the sprint with Mats, but start pulling late with our climbers and that's what we did. Nice. It's nice to see a whole team working for the same goal. And and I don't know for sure you're going to use, you were filming when I said this also in, in the meeting, but I truly believe when, when we have a team like we, we are bringing to the tour and we have so many different goals. At that point, I had the green jersey in mind, stage wins, Jasper with stage wins, eh, Matthias for GC, eh, Chico stage wins, you know, it was a lot of, um, a lot of goals for different people, but my victory the other day shows that if everyone is committed for that goal that one day and and they're not thinking about the day after or oh, fuck I spent too much energy and so on, then we can achieve the goals. And the same is going to happen the day where Chico he needs me to pull like maniac to, to go in the break or end up in the break with him and pull, 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 pull. I will go beyond my limits to, to help him to win this stage because he helped me to win my stage. And I think that's the strength of this team that we can actually do this. One more day, one more day. <laughs>
and that's here, that's this building. So I think from here they just go on the market square and it's a really short, short finish. So if you finish in a group, the finish will be here more or less. So they will remove all the furniture and it will be a straight line of 50 meters to there. So keep that in mind, uh, Chico and Matthias, when, when you're with a group, you will see the finish very, very, very late. I just want to say, guys, all in. Yesterday we took it easy for those two days and let's go for it. You have good spirit, good morale, so let's keep it up. Jeg skal tale med jer i aften, og jeg har egentlig ikke rigtig lyst til at tale med jer. Okay. Er det her i tur, med to gold i min hånd. Stage victory og Montan Jesse. I, I know that the tour is long three weeks, so uh, especially in the first in the first weeks, we did the summer stage with some good points. But uh, I was thinking already on the stage uh, in the Pyrenees, especially here in the Alps. So uh, I think yeah, um, we took the decision to go straight when uh, when was the moment, and I think that uh, the moment was yesterday and the day before. And now we are in the in the game, so we need, we know that we need to continue like this. I think already after tomorrow we have the queen stage of the tour, and there will be important to be in the breakaway. I need to be there. I know the team knows, so we will do everything possible to to do it. Ale, I go. The wind will be on the side there. They will drop from behind, I'm pretty sure. They will be like this, or people who go to the car for feet or whatsoever. So don't be afraid. If you feel good, don't be afraid to go early because they won't they won't see you anymore if you're gone. They won't see you anymore. Felix Gall told us that the uh, Gallo jersey is not an objective. Do you believe them? No. <laughs> Maybe yes to yeah, being a yes for sure. You need to think about the yellow. And uh, but Gala, I don't believe that you don't want to take this jersey. So uh, it, it, I think it is, will be will be a really fight from the start. Uh, so we know what we need to do, and we are ready to do it. Ça relance. 20 secondes d'avance pour le groupe Chicoli. La zone de tête sont au pied. Works his way through. His dream since he was a young boy is to wear the polka dots at the end of the Tour de France. He celebrates King of the Mountains, Giulia Ciccone. He cannot be beaten now. Congrats, Chico! Congrats, team! Chico took the points, so he will win the jersey. Thank you so much for yesterday. Uh, we started the day out with a plan and in the end you picked up all the points. So thank you so much for that because it means a lot for, for the team that we bring that jersey to, to Paris. And I think also for Ciccona to be the second Italian winning that jersey must be very special, no? Today 
keep the meeting. So it will be better weather. It will be dry. And actually, the faster you guys ride, the more chance you have a dry final. A definitely same. right side, but it's like if we go full in the barrier and we get blocked, then I have no chance to move. Like then I really have to be on the brakes and then my spin is over. That's why you have to do it. Oh guys, <laughs> thanks a lot for the past three weeks. Uh, we really rebounds well from uh, the Friday stage and I'm super proud of that. So thanks for that and uh, let's enjoy the last day and the last evening in Paris. First of all, do you like the Champs-Elysees? Yes. Why do you like the sprint on the Champs-Elysees? No, I mean, I'm not talking about shopping, I'm talking about the sprint. Uh, my, my wife likes the shopping there, but uh, no, it's a nice sprint, the cobblestones, and uh, it's a special atmosphere in there, it's a lot of people, and you know, it's it's like racing at the presentation the whole time, it's, it's so much noise and so many people cheering on, on us, and it's historical to, to race on Champs-Elysees, so that's uh, super nice. already there in 19 for the yellow jersey but this time was different because this jersey was was my goal so uh, you know in, in one moment you are there and you think okay was in my my head now I'm here and everything going well so was a good uh, good moment in on the wheel, Soren Varenskold is there, Mathieu van der Poel has got Jasper Philipsen locked in, ready. Here comes Alexander Kristoff who almost hits the barriers. Now Mathieu van der Poel starts to kick, Groenewegen leans on Jasper Philipsen and now Pedersen is there as well. Look, Dylan Groenewegen is in a perfect position. Look at Mathieu van der Poel, gritted teeth, flat out, full gas, but Groenewegen gets the kick. Groenewegen kicks hard, Pedersen through the middle, Philipson trying to get on terms. Who's going to take the victory? Wow! Also, if you see all the people on their own, everyone they wear the, the, the polka jersey. I think it's really iconic jersey in the world not only in the tour, so uh, when you are there and you wear this jersey, you, you really feel this, yeah, you have this good feeling, yeah.